Hi, everybody. Let me turn it down a little bit more. The only thing that I don't like about pretzel... Oh, wrong one. There we go. The only thing that I don't like about pretzel is that you have to use a little scroll bar to go up and down to adjust the volume. For some reason, the keypad on my laptop gets kind of sticky. So you just got blasted with music. <laughs> but hi! Hello to anybody who's watching. Um, I'm very happy to be streaming. Hi, Bookworm. Thank you for coming. Uh, let me know if the audio levels were weird. They look okay to me, but I have a tendency to be really quiet myself. So even though it looks good, I, I always worry that you can't actually hear me. So let me know and I can turn on the music a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I am having a nice, chill, relaxed stream today. Um, we're going to do something special. Great. Thank you, Bookworm. Um, I wanted to make, I wanted to make something baked, so I decided to do cinnamon rolls sort of from scratch. I'm going to be using a pizza dough that I have thawed, and I'm, it's like a shortcut. You heard cinnamon rolls of Sunia. Yeah. I can't speak English. You heard rumors of cinnamon rolls. You are correct. So, um... It worked out really well when we used the cinnamon roll, I mean, <laughs> the pizza dough for the donuts. So I thought it was worth giving a try. So according to this, um, we are supposed to let them rise a little bit after I cut and roll them out. So if we do do that, um, I will make something else. Um, we'll see how big they are. It kind of, I kind of feel like it would be silly to wait that long for something to rise partially. I'm not sure if it's actually going to work. I guess it'll be something good to try out so that other people will know. But, yeah. So maybe what we can do is roll out the cinnamon rolls, cut them, let them sit, and then I can make a glaze. And then when they're baking, I can get dinner ready. I'm not sure what I'm going to make yet. I'll probably just make stuff that I have in the freezer. <laughs> and then we can have uh, cinnamon rolls for dessert. How's that sound? So I'm just going to get started. The recipe that I'm using as inspiration is from... Man, it doesn't even have the website address on here. I printed it up from their website. Feastandfarm.com. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use something different for the spices. So I'm gonna use cinnamon, but I'm also gonna put nutmeg and ginger in there. And then for the glaze, I am going to use powdered sugar. Um Vanilla. Yeah, no, that sounds good. We'll just use that. You haven't had a cinnamon roll in ages. Cinnamon rolls are my favoriteest thing. I usually buy ones that are already made. Um, and just, you know, do, the, do it that way. But I'm going to sneeze. I'm still recovering from being ill. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... It comes and goes. But yeah, so there's a company called Immaculate Baking, and they have, um, like, essentially, like, accidentally vegan, um, cinnamon rolls that are really good. They're definitely not as good as if you went to, like, Cinnabon or whatever, but, um, we usually have some for, like, breakfast on Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I'm very interested to see how these turn out, because if they're actually really good, then I'll just do this next time. Because it definitely makes more, and it'll be cheaper. So I'm just starting with a one pound um, blob of pizza dough. 
Bookworm says, homemade ones are great, but from scratch ones take a really long time. Yes, um, I did make some a very long time ago. Um, it, it was a mission of mine to make a really great one that was partially whole wheat flour. Um, and I actually, hey, I thought this was locked. Maybe it is and I'm just too pushy. Eh. Um, yeah, so when I had a food blog, I entered a Hodgson Mills contest. Um, where you won a grand prize, and da 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 da. And I made cinnamon rolls. The, the only thing, the, like, criteria for the recipe you submitted was that it had to use this new flour blend that they came out with. That was white wheat, and it was whole grain. So, they were definitely on the healthier side. They definitely tasted more like cardboard, if you will. Um... But they, the, the filling was really good. So that's one thing that I can look at before I decide what spices to put in here is what I did on those. Because I remember the, even though the texture was a little iffy, the filling was really delicious. So how are you doing today, Bookworm? Always a pleasure to see you in the stream. might be as much as I can get out. Whew! You're not bad. Great. Um, yeah. So, she recommends making a 12 by 8 inch rectangle. Let's see how close I am. Stay. I don't see my cutter in here. Oh, that's right. I commandeered it for chipping paint off of a wall. Because I'm crazy. Going to Benihana for dinner with work people tonight. Looking forward to that. I've never been there before, but I've heard really good things. Do you feel like this is 12 by 8 inches? I don't know. Kind of looks like it. So she says, like, hers make five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll probably get, like, six. Okay. So. She basically just spreads softened butter in the middle. Before putting the mix in. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Her recipe calls for half a cup, and I had an already open stick, so I'm just gonna like put a generous amount in here. Maybe use all of it, maybe not. So it won't quite be a half of a stick of butter. Half of a cup, I mean. So a stick of butter is usually a half of a cup. I could probably bring up that other recipe. I think I posted it online. What is you? There's something in my butter. Toasty crumbs, maybe. Hello, don't fight ducks. Thank you for coming by. I'm just picking some stuff out of the butter that I had in my fridge. <laughs> Yummy. Uh, so, ducks, if you're just tuning in, I am making cinnamon rolls out of pizza dough. I started with a one pound bag of pizza dough, which is common, and I let it thaw. And 
I'm following this recipe from somebody's website. Um, and the next step that I'm working on is spreading a half a cup of butter over my rectangle of dough. Um, so she started with a half a cup. And I feel really horrible putting this much butter in here. Because it's not good for you. Even vegan butter is not good for you. Look at how much butter this is. I guess this is how it's done though, right? Goodness gracious. I guess I should just do it, right? Is the dough pre-made? Yes. Um, so you know how you can go and you can get like these packages, like round balls of pizza dough that's already made up? That's what I got. Just a regular white pizza dough. Store brand. I'm questioning my decision to make these. <laughs> Oh god. I am having a heart attack just looking at this mess. <laughs> no one ever claimed cinnamon rolls should be healthy, just yummy. Yes, you're right. Nobody wants healthy cinnamon rolls. I know, but that's why you go you buy them. So you don't actually see <laughs> how it's made. I'm converting it, but it's so easy just to use substitutes. You don't even have to think about it. Because literally, it's the packaged pizza dough. And then butter, sugar, and spices. So I'm just using margarine. So, okay. So my next step is to combine the sugar and spices. And... Um... <sighs> the recipe calls for like three quarters of a cup of sugar. But I don't know that I'm gonna use that that amount. Oh, my cookbook's not in here. Oh wait, it's right here. So when I made it before, I was gonna look at this recipe to see cinnamon rolls. I used half a cup. And when I made them before, I just brushed the inside with coconut oil. Duck says, is margarine typically vegan? I was looking at Aldi's, I can't believe it's not butter, knock up, and it seemed vegan. I haven't looked at that myself. I didn't even know they had it. Um, cause I already had, I have a ton of earth balance already. Um, for the most part it is. I'm not really sure what kind of additives they add to margarine. Um, I just usually buy Earth Balance because I know that it's vegan. But they could have milk protein in it and it'd just be lactose free. So if it says dairy free on it, then it usually is vegan. But if it's just like margarine and doesn't say dairy free on it, then it could have some in it. Hi, Bean! <laughs> I think it's called Taste Like Butter. It could it could be, I don't know. Mama Bean, do you know if the Aldi Taste Like Butter margarine is vegan? I haven't looked at it myself. You didn't get a notification? I, I have notifications on Discord now, it worked for me. But you didn't miss very much. I was just telling people that um, when I made cinnamon rolls from scratch before, I didn't really measure out uh, the butter portion, um, and I feel really guilty putting this <laughs> this much butter on my on my uh, <laughs> cinnamon rolls. It's like a third of a cup, but I'm just gonna do it because it's gonna be tasty. Okay. As far as the sugar goes, I am just gonna use half of a cup though because it was plenty. And like, if you look at this. Like this much sugar covering this space, that's plenty. All right, so I've got my spices. 
So this lady just used two teaspoons of cinnamon. You have none of those, womp womp. I'm sorry. You should make it happen though. <laughs> um, I used a tablespoon in mine, but I distinctly recall there being like 10 cinnamon rolls. So maybe I should just use two teaspoons. I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of ginger and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and I feel like that's gonna be a good, good amount. You'd use two tablespoons. <laughs> but I'm putting ginger in it too, so I don't want it to be too spicy. I've had cinnamon rolls where it's like you can hardly taste anything. And yes, I am eyeballing it. So Bean, have you ever done one of these like shortcut baked good recipes before? Because remember we made donuts out of the pizza dough and it turned out pretty good. They didn't keep very well. They got a little soft, but as far as cinnamon rolls goes, that's not really a problem, you know? You have not. Well, hopefully these turn out really well and you will inspire you to do that, right? Okay, so here we go. It's sugar time. This makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, some's getting on the floor. Rusty's gonna find that later and think uh, he hit the jackpot. So part of the reason why I wanted to do a baking stream... Is that Stelita? I can't see! You're yellow! Who is it? Yes, it's Stelina! Hi, Stelina! Long time no see. <laughs> Welcome. We're doing the exciting part of filling my cinnamon rolls with sugary, sugary goodness. How you been? Duck says, went to kitchen, water, soybean oil, palm kernel oil, palm oil, soy, salt, soy lecithin, vinegar, natural flavors, Vitamin A, palmate, and beta carotene. It could be vegan. Uh, natural flavors is one of those things, though, that you can never be too sure about. Did you find some sugar on the floor? Look, you guys, this is, it's coated already in sugary stuff, and I still have this much stuff left. Uh, but what I was saying was that, um, the past few weeks I've been struggling trying to figure out like why I'm so tired in the afternoons and I think part of it is because I'm not eating enough. I'm not like getting enough calories basically because I have a very physical job. Um, so part of the reason why I wanted to have a big to good stream is so that I make sure that I eat enough. Selena says, I know I hardly ever catch streams because of class, but it's over now and I'm good. Yes, excellent. <laughs> I like your reenactment, ducks. That's probably what I would have said too. Except probably not because I use too many words and I'm not funny like that. <laughs> oh my god, look! like a giant pile. Like I'm gonna roll these up and it's just gonna like roll out of the sides. It's fine. It's fine. Hi Cable. I'm I'm starting the exciting part of rolling up the cinnamon rolls. It's 
starting at the long end, roll up tightly and pinch the seam shut. Okay. You know what I should do is just kind of press the sugary stuff down first. Mama Bean says it's always a good idea to go to the doctor and get your nutrient levels checked through blood work to see if you're low on anything. Like vitamin D, being low can make you sleepy. Yes, I know. Um, and I did get checked out um, a couple years ago. And I was a little low. Um, but I do supplement. I just don't do it as well as I should. So this lady suggested that you don't flour your surface so that you can stretch the dough out more. So it's gonna be a little slow going rolling this up, but I will get it. Maybe next time I'll try it. Floured. Girl, please. This is just a pain. Yeah, next time I'm not doing this. Thanks a lot. See, this is like what I was complaining about the other day. You find a recipe on a blog and they're like, hey, do it this way, I'm an expert, and then it doesn't actually work. What is happening? Eats chunk of iron metal. No idea what you could mean by that bean. <laughs> Cinnamon rolls are so fun to make. Yes, I agree. <laughs> you guys are funny. I'm not sure this is actually rolled up at all or if I'm just squeezing it shut. Yep, look at that. Man, fuck you, bitch. Okay. So, lesson learned, guys. Don't follow this lady's advice. Definitely flower your surface, because this is stupid. I mean, it's all coming off. It'll be fine eventually. I just got sugar on the laptop. <laughs> I don't know. She said, so she said, this is what she says, okay? Roll your pizza dough on an unfloured surface. And in the blog post, she was talking about how it'll help you stretch it out because it's pizza dough. And pizza dough has a tendency to be um, so elastic. J-F-C. Okay. Well, now this thing is like twice the size as what it's supposed to be, but... I guess that just means more rolls. Okay. Combos sound good cheese in a pretzel. Yummy. 
You don't ever roll your pizza dough out without flour? I know, me neither. I don't know what this lady is thinking. She's probably not. She's probably just like, oh, somebody's gonna read this. Let me just fuck everything up, right? That's what I'm thinking. Teeny tiny ones for the end. Actually, I bet a serrated knife. I have these Portuguese knives. These would probably work better. Leave her a comment and tell her she's a noodle. Okay. <laughs> she probably just told me I did something wrong. Maybe she's just more skilled at rolling dough than I am. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be so judgmental about it. She also is making these more like buns where they're all in a little square pan and I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed to let them rise for half an hour. So this is what they look like. Let's see if they actually do anything. Oh. <laughs> they're on top of the oven, so they're a nice warm spot. Get all that sugar wasted. And now it's all over the floor. Check them out in like 20 minutes and see if they're doing anything. And if not, I'm just going to put them in the oven. All right. So what am I missing? Uh, there's sugar under my feet. <laughs> Let's see. Do, 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 do. Why does this public bus smell so bad? Because people smell bad. <laughs> Doug says, munchos are a slice of salt sprinkled with a dusting of potatoes. Why are we talking about munchos? <laughs> and Delina is waiting for onions to sweat. Okay, that sounds yummy. 
<laughs> 50 50 weed and bo okay a new smell contender someone is eating their pungent takeout Mama Bean, I feel like that's also a cultural thing. So even if we had the the buses, uh, we might not have it be clean or polite. <laughs> um, yeah. So I started running again yesterday. Um, so I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but there's a program called Couch to 5K. Um, at that MVP she used uh, when she was training for her 5k C2 5k free I'm getting the link for you in case you want to do it yourself so when she started doing it um, it didn't have this handy little app and now it does so basically it's an interval trainer um, and it's an eight week program and you basically download the app and it will tell you how long to jog for, how long to walk for. And then you just go back and forth, do that until you've gone the amount of time that it's making you do for that day. So you're supposed to do it every other day. And yesterday was day number one for me. Um, and I usually run about a mile and a half a day and this time I did about two. Um, so, um, I'm a little more sore than I would have expected to be, but I was able to do it and it didn't really feel like it was that hard. It's just um, one minute spurts of jogging and then like a minute and a half of walking in between. <laughs> Bad leggies. Well, not everybody can run, you're right, but Yeah, so running, you really have to make sure that you're, you're, you know how to get a good pace. And MVP um, had some problems with her 5K. Um, she got plantar fasciitis towards the end of it, and she did it anyway. Um, but she messed up her foot so bad that it hurt for like a year. Um, which does happen. It happens to a lot of people. <laughs> We're a bunch of old broken noodles. Yeah. <laughs> But it's never too late to start if you really do want to do something like that eventually. Um, there's always a starting point, even if running isn't involved in it. So the story behind it is that my mom wants to do one of those Spartan obstacle courses. And um, this is the way that I feel like I could train for endurance. She's actually going to use her bicycle. So she, she has a stationary bike at home um, and it has resistance on it and all that stuff. So she could, you could basically do the same thing, um, interval training on a bike. Um, if you feel like your knees aren't up for it yet um, and then work up towards running or you could just never run. <laughs> That's also an option. <laughs> Happens to Peyton Manning, yeah. Ooh, isometrics, old school. That's really fun though. We used to do that in gym class when I was in high school. Ducks had some kind of tendonitis every time I tried to run months after a lightning bolt of pain would just shoot down your leg. That stinks, man. Yeah, if you're gonna take up running, you wanna make sure that um, you get somebody to show you how you're supposed to move. So if you're, if you're doing endurance running, you don't want to like, you know, like, go like this with your legs, you know? You actually just wanna like go like this, but moving forward. You want your, your feet to be pretty fast, but close to each other. Um, and you do wanna take breaks. You're not supposed to run the whole time unless you're like super, super, super fit. Can you run on your hands? If you can, can you video it for me? <laughs> I'm sure you could, but you might not go very fast. <laughs> Um, but yeah, seriously, you need good shoes. Uh, if you have flat feet, you need to get some arches, arch support, but even Tim smells like weed. Oh no! Round is a shape, you're right. 
I wasn't going to start running again until she told me she wants to do a Spartan race and that I'm her only friend who will do it with her. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of guilted me into it, but I also want to do stuff like that. Unicycle edition, there you go. Yeah, so I feel like running comes very easily to me because I have spent the better part of the last 10 years standing. I worked at PetSmart for three years. I was a receptionist for three years. I worked in a production company for a year, and then I've been working at this retail job for three years. So a lot of my time is spent on my feet. Oh. Whoopsie. <laughs> Weed isn't even legal here and I smell it so much when out shopping. Do you have um, medical use? Because people who have a medical card can smoke it wherever they want. I don't know that these are doing anything, you guys. I think I'm just gonna make some icing. So let me grab my powdered sugar and my vanilla. When we lived in Texas, I, I really did used to run like a 5K on the weekends. Um, I mean, I wasn't good at it or anything, but I did it because I wanted to. I wanted to be good at it eventually. I don't know where my vanilla went. Where did my jar go? It's not here. Vanilla. Oh, look, there we go. So, and I have a sifter somewhere. Well, I am just gonna have to use a regular old strainer for my sugar. Put them near the oven with a towel over them. Well, they're near the oven. Not sure. That'll do a whole lot. We'll try it. Medical use was restricted to the personal abode. Oh. Don't know about now, but if someone smokes around me, I will file an assault complaint. It is very smelly. Smoke at home or in a weed bar, peeps. Unless you live in an apartment, then go smoke in the woods or something, because screw you. I'm really not sure where my sugar sifter is. Hello? Oh well. So we got this for. Cables, have you ever tried to make cinnamon rolls with pizza dough? Or are you a 100% scratch kind of person more? Do you ever take shortcuts with baking? Oh, that's good, Doug. I know that exercising really isn't everybody's thing, but it does help your health. <laughs> I try, I have conversations with MVP about trying to get her involved in some sort of physical activity and I just can't, I can't stimulate her most of the time. That's one of the reasons that 
we miss Texas so much is because you can go outside and go on a trail and like hike and stuff almost year round. The only exception being the middle of the summer. So it has to be like new and exciting for her. And you can't really do that in the winter here. You really just have your choice of going to the gym or freezing your ass off. And I know she's not gonna wanna do that. She was actually really good about it. Maybe not last year, but the year before, she would take a walk on her lunch break and in the snow. She had snow pants and snow boots and she would take a shower when she got home. Cause with all that stuff on, you get really hot. Mom used the biscuit mix for cinnamon rolls. You don't mind exercising, Bean? What kind of exercises do you like? If you like any of them. Yeah, Doug, I agree. It, it can't be freezing, freezing. She, I don't know how she did it, but she was a trooper about it. Somebody's texting me. Nope, it's just a Discord notification. Yes, I did live in Texas previously. I was living, I lived in Midland for one year um, because MVP's family lived there. We were living in West Virginia and we tried to get an apartment in Austin online and they basically were screwing around with us the whole time. We even paid them a deposit and everything. And every time we would talk to them, it'd be like, oh, that's, that unit's not available anymore. So we got scared um, and we decided to just spend a year in Midland um, until we were ready to actually look at places in real life <laughs> in Austin. And then we moved to Austin. Um, we were there for like seven years until a couple years ago. Mama Bean has a pair of weights here next to me for when I'm super lazy or I play wee bowling. <laughs> oh, it's above freezing. Okay. Too hot for you. I gotcha. Yeah, some people are like that. Walks are actually very, very, very good for you. They've done studies about how it affects your brain. Um... And walking on the treadmill doesn't do the same thing um, because it's all about keeping you on alert and facing things that are unexpected actually helps improve or maintain your cognitive abilities. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I've got a cup of powdered sugar. She only put a quarter teaspoon of vanilla in the, this frosting. I'm definitely gonna do more than that. Kettleball set, ooh, that's fun. So ducks, why don't you use it? Like if you have all this stuff, like what's stopping you from doing it? Is it just your mood? So does that mean walking is still beneficial even though I power walk everywhere all day at work? Oh yeah, for sure. You should have cut the onion soup recipe in half. <laughs> Lazy. Yeah, it happens. You do have to be motivated to exercise for sure. Demotivation. and a tablespoon of water. I don't know that a tablespoon is gonna be enough for a glaze, you guys. <laughs> Doug, 
Ducks is so depressed I can't even do the things I enjoy. There's no way I can do the things that are low-key unpleasant. <laughs> yeah, that uh, sounds familiar. <laughs> well, that blows, man. You got my sympathy. So how this is supposed to be a frosting, I don't know. And this is why I hate blogs. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out. Ding dang noodle, I tell you, I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell them you said that. So, I mean, like I said, they did make this to be like cinnamon buns in the pan, you know, like in the eight by eight pan, you put them in there and then you're supposed to spread this on top, and I don't think it's even gonna be spreadable without the additional like additional lots of frosting liquid. Frosting liquid. Water, it's water. And it also only made five. And I have lots more than that because my dough stretched out so much. Also their fault. That'll probably be fine. So I just needed to add one tablespoon more water. Mmm, paste. <laughs> I'm gonna taste it. Yep, it's sugary. So it's been 20 minutes. I don't think these things have done anything. What do you think? I think we're just gonna bake them and see what happens. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. Yes, yay sugar. <laughs> It'll be smooth by the time I need it. So now we wait. And I'm thinking that for dinner, I'm just going to make meatballs, all the meatballs, and mix vegetables. <laughs> Cause that's the kind of mood I'm in. There was something else I wanted to talk to you guys about, but I forget what it is. Woo, meatballs. I know, they were wicked good. Yup, yup, yup. I, I'm really excited because I actually feel really good right now. And that means on the nights that MVP is taking off, I should just stream. So long as I'm not doing couch to 5k. Whoa, okay. So Mama Bean says, I like sauteing them in barbecue sauce and making mac and cheese as a side. Holy cow. You know what you just got at my store? Um, smoked maple syrup. And I was thinking to myself, oh, you know, it's like lightly smoked. It'll be great on pancakes. Well, I stuck my finger in some the other day, yesterday. And it's like so smoky, like you have to use it as an ingredient. So I was thinking about getting a couple of them to use for barbecue stuff. Do you think that would sound good? Have you ever made barbecue sauce or like a barbecue marinade or something? Like you use a sweetener in it. And this mapley smoky stuff sounds really good. 
I'll have to play with that. Experiment a little bit. Not yourself, no. Well, I have a barbecue cookbook that I haven't really used a whole lot of because MVP really, really, really just likes veggie burgers. <laughs> I haven't reached level 10 yet. <laughs> And I, I don't know. I'm thinking about trying some stuff out in there. Like marinated tempeh with barbecue seasonings. Using smoked maple syrup. Doug says my go-to marinades are more oil-based. Tuscan House Italian is where I start and sometimes finish. So true story. Um, when I first went vegan in like 1998... My mom and my stepdad like just had built a deck and a pool in my backyard when I was growing up because I was like 16 and they grilled all the time. Um, so my mom's go-to marinade for veggies, she would make kebabs, veggie skewers, and she would just put Italian dressing on it. She would pour a bottle of Italian dressing on the mushrooms, peppers, um, onions, zucchini, and then grill them after they're done marinating, it's sublime. It's really the best and most easiest way to marinate something. Bottle of salad dressing. Let me show you a couple of my books that I'm excited to play with for the summer. And to be fair, I had them this past summer, but I didn't really do anything with them. Ouch. So this one book is just a vegetarian book and I've used it before, um, but I've, it was many years ago. So they didn't really have good alternatives to some ingredients because there's a lot of types of cheese in it. But everything that we tried from it was delicious. So this burger, this, this burger, this book, Veggie Burgers Every Which Way, is phenomenal. Tuscan House is the bomb. Cheap now, too. I've, I've never seen that. Is that the brand? Garlic Expressions Dressing at Kroger. We used to shop at Kroger when we lived in West Virginia. It was like the grocery store. <laughs> uh, so let me show you the one that I really, really, really liked. And it was made with goat cheese, I think. So I'm not sure what I would choose for that. Corn burgers with sun-dried tomatoes and goat cheese. It's so delicious. Look. It's amazing. Hi, Cables. We're talking about grilling uh, because I had a smoked maple syrup at work yesterday and I expected it to be like sweet with a hint of smokiness, but it was just like sweet and super smoky. So I'm thinking about getting some to use over the summer when I barbecue. Yeah, grilled food. So for this burger, it's basically like fritters. So it's corn, eggs, cornmeal, flour, cornstarch, baking powder, scallions, sun-dried tomatoes in oil, not the dried kind, goat cheese, salt, pepper, and olive oil. And they were so amazingly delicious. So good. So with the, the new types of vegan substitutes they have out now, I'm sure that I can veganize a lot of these. What year did this come out? 2010, shit, it's almost 10 years old. Would have to make a lot of subs, this is true. But the vegan egg works so good as an egg replacer, I would use that and then Kite Hill, like just cream cheese would probably be a really great substitute for goat cheese. In this capacity, anyway. 
I'd be very interested to try it out. But yeah, most of these are not for grilling, they're for frying, um, which happens with a lot of veggie burgers that aren't um, wheat gluten based. Spinach chickpea burgers. Yum. Um, so the other book is this one here. And I haven't done a whole lot with it because it's just not like, there's so many recipes. Sometimes when, there, when I get a book and it has a lot of things in it, I get overwhelmed and I never end up making anything out of it. Golden Tandoori Seitan. Let's check that out. 34. No picture. So this is basically... You make your own sauce and then you coat it and then put it on skewers and grill them until brown. So we're looking at red onion, tomato sauce, yogurt, ginger, garlic, jalapenos, cayenne pepper, cumin, garam masala, cloves, turmeric, salt, pepper, and seitan. That sounds really good. Yum. And I also asked for another um, grilling cookbook for Christmas from my father. So we'll see if I get that. See, it has recipes for glazes and sauce too. So this is a brown sugar bourbon sauce. Soy sauce, bourbon, brown sugar, cayenne pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Yeah. So, maybe we can finagle a way to have an outdoor stream <laughs> so I can make grilled things live on camera. That'd be pretty fun. Uh, so, you know what? I forgot to check. I was going to check and see what kind of movies are on Netflix at the moment because I thought it'd be fun to have a rabbit night of, like, watching Holiday, Nailed It, or The Great British Baking Show, or, like, a food documentary. Would you guys want to hang out and watch something on Netflix? That's about food. <laughs> nailed it. I love Nailed It. It's like... <laughs> It's my favorite. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> I just binge watched the holiday one, but I am definitely open to watching it again. If you guys feel like you want to join in. It's really, really good. Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? Oh my gosh, the sugar is just like seeping out all over the place. Perhaps a baking dish would have been a better idea. <laughs> you guys, this is going to be an epic failure. <laughs> I'm going to tweet a picture and you're going to laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> Oh my god. No! <gasps> Usually I make them on a, ch on a sheet, but there's so much sugar, it's just melting and going everywhere. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Cable. I need a cookie break. But, but, so I've made them on a cookie sheet just fine and they work okay.
All right, so I've posted a picture on Twitter. I'm gonna go eat a cookie now. <laughs> I might have like three cookies. <laughs> This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. <ducks. laughs> Unbelievable. Well, to be fair, she did tell me to put them in an 8x8 inch baking dish. <laughs> so that's my fault. But look, look, I show you. But look at that. Look, I made those. I made those the same way. And they actually came out. Just really whole grain. <laughs> no, that one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I don't have to worry about making food before the cinnamon rolls are ready because it's really not going to be exciting enough to wait for. <laughs> I'll take them out and set one aside and put frosting on it and eat it, but I doubt this recipe is authenticity. I'm telling you, man, I hate that. I hate that. I'm pretty succinct most of the time. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. It's all right there. That's the whole story. <laughs> At least I have these cookies. <laughs> I would say that it's a boring story. It's not uneventful. It's just not like exciting. <laughs> well, 
what can I say? I don't have a husband to talk about. It's like all of these food blogs are telling a story about their husband and either how great they are, how great they take care of them, or how they don't know how to cook, or my grandmother taught me how to cook. I, I had no, none of those experiences, so. <laughs> and in the beginning there was darkness. You're still married. Well, yeah, but I don't have a husband. It's like all of these food blogs are about some mysterious husband. <laughs> oh my goodness, Bean. <laughs> you guys are great. I'm glad that you're all still here and you're waiting with rapt attention to see how terrible these cinnamon rolls are gonna be. <laughs> Yes, and a KitchenAid mixer. You know what? To be honest, I had two KitchenAid mixers and I broke both of them. <laughs> yeah, ducks, exactly. It would be just like that. <laughs> like Borat? I don't remember what that sounds like. <laughs> Yes, there's also a doggo, but I don't really make food for him very much. And two cats, yeah. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that picture of Porchy on Twitter today? It's so cute. Chef assisted, that is not the question of the day, but thank you for reminding me <laughs> that I forgot to change the question of the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I don't think you were there for the sweet potato stream, were you? Please regale us with tales of your favorite ways to cook sweet potatoes. <laughs> yeah, you did miss it. It's okay. I feel threatened by this question. Come here, baby. Rusty's here. This question assumed a lot, th a lot of things about me. <laughs> that you like sweet potatoes and that you have cooked them. Hi! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mama Bean says she loves you. She loves you. Yes. You're a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> that you like make sweet potatoes. I know, right? <laughs> oh, there's the timer. Are you ready for this train wreck? Alexa, stop. All right, I'm gonna put put one of my handy dandy pot holders down. I feel like we should have an epic song happening right about now. All right, here we go. Here they come. My big horrible disaster. Here we go. Look at it. <laughs> Cinnamon rolls are done! <laughs> Look, they didn't even get puffy at all. Do you know how many recipes there are on the internet about how to make cinnamon rolls out of pizza dough? <laughs> yes, they are still rolls. You're not wrong. Oh, my glaze already has a skin. Well, I think we have learned a valuable lesson today, and that is shortcuts don't always work.
I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Oh, hi, Jinx. The big reveal, you made it, yes. It was a disaster. <laughs> they make their own sauce, you're totally right. But I definitely have to take them out of that little goopy sauce before it hardens and then it's a sheet of cinnamon rolls. You know what, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just wait and then see if I can lift them all up at one time. <laughs> Was the recipe basically cinnamon sugar as filling? Yeah, so um, it was sugar, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. That's what I put in it. It's sugar dough and tree bark. What's not to like? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't think they rose at all. I think you're totally right. And I think all these people who say that you can make cinnamon rolls out of pizza dough are lying or their standards are really low. Yes, the pretzel app takes requests in exchange for bits. If you had a smaller pan, I would have put and baked them in that, yes. Okay, so this part was my fault. It did say I should put them in an eight by eight inch baking dish and bake them like that. It probably would have been more presentable for sure, but it definitely wouldn't have gotten any risier. <laughs> Hi, low fat. Stay tuned to Twitter. Might do something dangerous tonight. Okay. I didn't really look, but MVP suggested that I try the app out. So, with flour because you're a rebel. Yep. Less soupy too. Well, I feel like it would still have kind of leaked out all over the place, but just been stuck to the bottom of the rolls instead of stuck to the pan. I mean, I was just trying it because I really wanted cinnamon rolls and I didn't want to buy a roll of them. But I'm going to eat it and see what it tastes like. It's not good. I mean, the frosting's good, but it still, it still tastes like pizza. Yeah, it tastes like pizza. <laughs> okay, Jinx, you're totally right. It would have been less work by them. I was really hoping that the quality would be a little bit higher. Yeah. You're right. It's not good. Don't try it. Thank you for letting me know, ducks. I'm probably not going to plug it. Like, I might. Nobody's even probably going to use it, so. Yeah, this is sad. And now we know. Next time I'll do it from scratch. It will be much better. Like I'm gonna eat these and I'm gonna think it's okay, but I'm not gonna like it like it. Yes, I tried. Thank you for your support. So, womp womp. But sugar is good. I like sugar. I like the sugar portion of this sugary <laughs> big good. All right. Well, on that note, let's see who's streaming. 
and give somebody a nice little raid. Hmm. Not very many people I know. <laughs> Chef John Reed is making apple strudels. You guys want to watch some apple strudels? Is there any icing left? Yes, there is. Maybe I should keep it for something more better. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just not great. And it's very crispy on the outside. Like, it's not even just crispy on the sugar part. It's crispy all over. Well, I think... <laughs> I think on that, that note, we're just going to call it a night. You want to read Chef John Reed? He's making apple strudel. And he actually knows what he's doing. So, if you wanted a dessert stream, you'll actually get it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. I had fun, even though my cinnamon rolls turned out to be crap. But now I know my lesson is learned. You cannot rely on pizza dough for everything. It basically, yeah, it literally tastes like cinnamon pizza. And not, not the same quality as if you went to the pizza restaurant and got cinnamon knots or whatever. It's not, it's not good. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming, for your continued support. <laughs> I will be back soon, streaming again. Um, probably whenever MVP doesn't want to stream, but she wants to play games, I'll probably set something up and, you know, do something, but I'll definitely be back on Monday unless I have a repair guy come out for the washing machine. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a little raidy raid. Let me just type in the thing. Tell him I sent you. And I will catch you on the flip side, you guys. Oh, thank you for the biddies, Jenks. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody for coming. I will see you later. Bye.